Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. This is my full affiliate marketing course, zero to 10K. Hey guys, thanks for checking out the course. This is going to be a five part video series, how I earned my first $10,000 in commissions with affiliate marketing. If you stay through to the end, you should learn how to start your own successful high ticket affiliate marketing business. So just to get introductions out of the way, in case you don't know who I am, my name is Jacob. I am 28 years old from Connecticut. Uh, for most of my life, I've worked in restaurants, serving, bartending, you know, regular job. Um, they lost the job in 2020 when COVID hit, all the restaurants shut down. So I started looking into making money online to hopefully build a more secure future for myself financially. Um, I had an eBay store running, um, never really made profit with that. Same thing with drop shipping. I made sales, but never saw profit. I did try blogging for a little while. Um, you know, just never made any real money with these ventures. Um, so I kept looking. Eventually I ran into or discovered high ticket affiliate marketing, which is the business model I'm still running with. At the time I was working a new job, which I really didn't like, but I had to pay the bills so I couldn't really leave. Um, so I started my high ticket business in December for the first few months. I was only working two to three hours a day. That's all the time I really had working full time. So it definitely started off slow. My first month, I think I made like $2 in commissions. Um, but within six months of starting, uh, right around the six month mark, I actually finished up a $10,000 month. I profited $13,000 in a 30 day period uh, very recently. Now I'm not making $10,000 every month, um, but this is just to show you the profit potential with this business model uh, as a complete beginner. I was recently interviewed by Dave Sharp. He's the CEO for Legendary Marketer. And I also recently quit my job to pursue affiliate marketing full time. All right, so moving forward, what is affiliate marketing? It's essentially promoting someone else's product or service for a commission. So you're going to be sending people to a company website. Every time you send them a customer, you're going to get paid a commission um, after they buy the product you're promoting. Now, most companies have affiliate programs, companies you've probably heard of, such as Amazon, Nike, Walmart. You can do this 100% online with unique affiliate links. When you sign up with an affiliate program, you're going to get a number of links. Um, these are your affiliate links. You post them online um, on your social media pages or in your email marketing. When people click the link, it's going to bring them to the company website. They're going to end up on a sales page where they can buy something. When they check out, you're going to earn a commission. Now, this is great for beginners and for busy people since as an affiliate marketer, uh, your job is basically done at the point of sale. After you make that sale, the company that's selling the product is going to handle everything else. They're going to create the products. They're going to do the shipping. They handle the inventory. They do the customer service. They take on any clients. They're going to collect the payments. You don't have to do any of that. You're just driving traffic to an existing company and getting paid for sending them customers. So you only have to do the marketing. This makes this such a great business model for uh, regular working people because you don't have to spend all day uh, making sure the business is running smoothly. You just work when you can, when you want to, and um, you earn commissions when people click your links and buy the products. Now, one of the huge benefits to affiliate marketing is that you are partnering with established companies. You think about a company like Amazon. Amazon obviously has no problem selling their products. So by partnering with a company like that, and promoting their products, you increase your chances of making sales. You don't have to create brand new products and wonder if people are gonna buy them. You're simply promoting products that are already selling and you're leveraging the success of these existing companies. Now it does require a little bit of investment. This is a business model. Um, so you will expect to spend a little bit of money upfront to get things started. I would say you should be comfortable spending at least $50 a month. Um, this is mostly on software to automate your business. Now. The software I'm going to show you as we go through this course actually has a 100% free plan. So you can do this with less than 50 bucks a month. Um, it should cost you roughly about $20 to start up. That's initial investment. Um, and I'll go over that later, but I would say to be comfortable spending at least around $50 a month to get started. When I started my business, I was spending about $45 a month, actually exactly $45 a month each month until I started making money and then I invested in more expensive software. Right now I'm spending about $150 a month flat. So this business is quick to set up. However, it is not a get rich quick scheme. You shouldn't expect to make money right away. For me, it took me about three months to start seeing profit. Um, some people make money quickly. Some people, it takes a little longer. 
Uh, there's absolutely no guarantees like any business. Um, now you can work anywhere you want at any time at your own pace as long as you have internet connection. I would recommend at least one to three hours a day when you're getting started. Now remember, everybody starts with zero followers. You don't need an audience to begin with this. Um, you grow your followers as you go. And everybody has a different timeline. Everybody moves forward at their own pace. A lot of people ask me when they're going to get paid, when they're going to start making money. I honestly could not tell you. Um, there's no guarantees. There's no perfect timeline. You just have to believe in the system and keep moving forward. And you will get to where you want to be uh, so long as you don't give up. So here are a few examples of affiliate marketing on the internet. Um, this is from a YouTube channel, a YouTube video, a camera buying guide. Um, if you watched the video, it was just a review of a bunch of different cameras. And if you look in the description box, there are affiliate links to those cameras. The idea is people watch the video, they decide which camera they want to buy, and the link is right there. So this creator will earn the commission every time somebody clicks one of these links and buys uh, the product. Over here, we have a Twitter account which tweets deals about video game accessories. Um, you see here there's an Xbox controller with a link to Amazon. Um, so if somebody clicks the link and buys the controller, this person would get paid a commission. Um, now you see they tweet deals which may contain affiliate links. Um, this is super important. You must disclose your affiliate links when posting um, them on the internet just to let people know you're an affiliate and you earn a commission when they click the link and buy the product. Now, as an affiliate marketer, you have the freedom to promote whatever products you want. However, I recommend promoting high ticket products. This just means products that are $1,000 or more. These are typically computers, iPhones, cameras, uh, courses, coaching programs, um, and more expensive softwares. Now, the reason you want to promote high ticket products is you can be super profitable with just a few monthly sales. As you can see, this is an example. This is a um, email commission payout. I receive from my high ticket partner, Legendary Marketer. You see I earn $1,000 per sale. Now, not every sale I make is a high ticket sale, but when you're making $1,000 per sale, um, you only need a few of those sales each month to be super profitable. When you're just doing marketing, it really doesn't matter what you're promoting. It's pretty much the same amount of work no matter what. So it makes more sense to spend that time promoting high ticket products so you can make a lot more money with the same amount of sales. Speaking more about profit, promoting digital products will definitely earn you more money as the profit margins are much higher compared to physical products where the company has to cover the cost of goods, inventory, shipping, um, much higher overhead with paying for labor to fulfill the order compared to a digital product where somebody visits the website, they buy the product, they click download, they have it, the order is fulfilled. Um, it's just a much more profitable business model and because of that those uh, companies will be able to pay their affiliates much higher commission rates. You look at a company like Amazon, their commission rates max out at about 10%, where most of the companies I'm promoting, which are almost entirely digital products, commission rates range from 30% on the low end up to 90% on the high end. Now, when it comes to promoting high ticket products as an affiliate marketer, one of the best ways to do this is with a value ladder. This is a super profitable business model that works very well for many different companies in many different industries. You can see this in action on McDonald's dollar menu. Uh, Costco uses this with their rotisserie chickens. Even Dollar Shave Club uses this to get customers. Basically, you sell or you market a very affordable, very inexpensive product up front. Uh, typically a high value product with a lot of demand, um, basically underpriced, and this gets customers in the door. This is going to get you a lot of customers so they can come in and get that deal. So the value ladder starts with a low ticket, very affordable, high value product up front to get people in the door. And then once the company has that customer there, they sell them their more expensive products to make profit. Now, the reason this is so beneficial to affiliates is because as an affiliate, you're only doing the marketing. You only have to focus on those front end um, offers just to get people in the door. And once you get people in the door, the company you're partnered with, they're going to handle all of the back end high ticket sales. They're going to lock people in on subscription uh, packages. Um, so you can just focus on getting customers. But with a good affiliate program, you're going to still earn commissions on all of those back end offers. So you can just focus on one product to get people in the door 
and then the company will sell all the other products they offer. And you, meanwhile, you're earning a commission on all of those sales since you were the one who sent that, comp that customer to the company in the first place. Now, not all companies will have these lifetime commission payouts, so it's a good idea to make sure um, that the company you decide to partner with and promote pays you out commissions on all the sales from any customer you refer to them. All right, so you might be wondering where to find these affiliate products and programs to partner with and promote. Um, luckily, there are affiliate networks designed specifically for affiliates. These are just a few of the most popular ones. Uh, Clickbank.com, Warrior Plus, JBZoo.com, ShareASale.com. You can sign up for any of these free, browse their catalog, and find a product that you want to promote. A lot of the products you'll find in these networks are digital products with value ladders. These companies are built from the ground up for affiliates, so you can find some great products to promote. Now, each one of these networks has hundreds, if not thousands of products to choose from. Don't be overwhelmed. You only need one good product to scale. I, in fact, I recommend starting with one product and getting a consistent stream of income with commissions for that product before you try to diversify and promote multiple products. Now, these networks may not be available in your area, so if one of them doesn't work, you can try another one. There's also plenty more affiliate networks. These are just a handful of the most popular. If you want to look for more, you can always do a Google search for affiliate networks. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the first module. That was the introduction to affiliate marketing. Next up, we're going to pick out a niche and a product to promote. I would really appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video.